I'm Paul McGowan, and we are down in the bowels of PS Audio. Uh, this room, we call it our server room. <clears throat> you can see all this maze of wires and servers, and oh my God, there's there are so many computers here. This is kind of the nerve center of the entire company. We do a lot of engineering, and, and engineering requires a lot of computing horsepower. Uh, and all of that is contained here. And our engineering group maintains this. So I thought I'd just sneak in here and, and uh, answer one of the questions. <laughs> you wanted to see more of PS Audio? Well, this is, this is the part nobody gets to see even when you come down to Boulder for the tour, which I encourage you to do. We always love people showing up and playing, but this is the room that you won't see, unless you ask, but it's not really all that exciting, but it is to nerds like us, right? So today's question comes from Rob in Oakland, California. Hey Paul, there's a guy on YouTube with a lot of followers saying there's no difference between vinyl and CD and that the only real differences we can legitimately hear are those from the recording process. Like mixing, I assume, and you know, tweaking the, the treble and, and, the, and the bass levels. Do you buy that? Why are so many people interested in vinyl these days? Isn't it worse than CD? Well, thanks Rob. That's, that's a great question. I have seen, I've seen this guy. Um, he's got some a uh, fairly popular program where he, he tells the truth like it is. Um, and I suppose for him that is a reality. There's a number of people who I think use their heads more than their ears, and that's my guess. I mean, he seems like a smart guy. But I would argue that that is perhaps one of the silliest things I've ever heard. If, if you can't hear the difference between the same piece of music on a vinyl disc and a CD, then I would have to question your stereo system. Seriously. If your speakers can't reproduce the difference between that, and, and let's face it, 99% of every loudspeaker system out in the world is, is just not very resolving, okay? I mean, they're not very good. You, you take the typical stereo system out there today, you've got oh, Sonos or you've got something that you buy at, uh, at, at Best Buy and you hook up and you play something, and it sounds fine. A little pair of bookshelves, a desktop system. And for most people, Bluetooth speakers, for most people, that's great. You've got great background music. You can crank your tunes up when you want. That's fine. But for those of us who are actually interested in the quality reproduction of music on our stereo systems, that's just not good enough. So we have systems that don't have to be expensive. Okay, I've seen systems for as little as a grand, uh, $800. We, we have one on our website, the Elac Sprout system. I think it's $799 delivered to your door. It's excellent. Not only can you hear the difference between vinyl and CD, but you can tell the difference between various types of CDs and various DACs and all of that stuff is very easy to to hear on a system. It's eight hundred dollars, and we're not talking we're not talking big bucks here. We're not talking the the mega system that I've got next door in Music Room One with the the massive IRS fives. So it's all up to a system's revealing power. And, and anybody that's even lately involved in, in high performance audio can easily hear the difference. So let's go into why. First off, they're obviously two very different mediums. If you take a tape recorder, like a master tape, and you master it for vinyl, or you master it for CD, it's gonna be very different. Vinyl has truncated dynamic range around 70 dB where CD is around 100 90 something okay so that extra 20 dB of dynamic range has to be accounted for because if you don't a loud passage will overmodulate a vinyl disc so they're mastered different they're compressed a bit 
and they have to fit into a, a less dynamic space. So right away, the, the two are very different, and 20 dB of difference in dynamic range is a hell of a lot. And, and I'm just shocked when people say, oh, there's no difference, I can't even hear any difference. Okay. Anyway, we won't go there. <laughs> I'm not going to be opinionated today. I'm just going to give you some facts. So we have the difference in dynamic range. Frequency response. Indeed, records, vinyl records are capable of full frequency response, but they're, they struggle sometimes, and, and you have to have a pretty good turntable set up in order to get that full frequency range. So there are differences there. Of course, surface noise, ticks and pops, how well your turntable, your cartridge are set up, how good your phono preamp is set up, all of those things make a heck of a difference in the way that vinyl sounds. And the same can be said for CDs. When you have a CD and uh, a CD player, the quality of that player, the quality of the DAC, whether it's the DAC is inside of the CD player or whether it's an external DAC, that all matters and it matters a lot and then the system itself in the resolving power so to answer your question Rob no they are not the same no I don't buy that and while I understand there are some systems that have poor enough resolving power that one could legitimately say that and have it true that's not something I'm interested in and likely you're not either so thanks for the question and We'll talk again tomorrow. Bye-bye.